Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Darkwell LKE. In this episode, we're going to go over how to make a free-to-play strength pier for PKing. This guide is aimed towards new players who have never PKed before. I'm going to show you a quick account build that only takes a couple of hours to make and will have you winning battles in the wilderness. If you don't already have an old school RuneScape account, or if your account has higher than level 1 prayer, defense, or attack, you'll need to create a new account. Once you've created your account, head over to the cow pen just northeast of Lumbridge Castle. Make sure your attack style is set to strength. If you already have a main account, trade over full iron armor, some strength potions, and food. If you don't have a main account, that's fine. It'll just take you slightly longer to train your strength. Once you're finished training at the cows, you can head over to the goblins just north of Lumbridge Castle. Continue to train your strength until you reach level 35. It should only take 6 hours to get to level 35 strength. Once you've reached 35 strength, you can head over to the Grand Exchange. You'll want to buy an Amulet of Power, 3 Strength Potions, Iron Full Helm, Iron Plate Legs, Iron Kite Shield, Iron Plate Body, Iron Scimitar, Iron Two-Handed Sword, Leather Gloves, Leather Boots, and a Team Cape. This equipment is fairly cheap, all in it's going to be just over 2k, which is good because it means you're not risking much when you're learning how to PK. After that, you can head over to the Barbarian Village and collect some food. There are lots of players fishing here. And since there's a fire close by, people will be cooking trout and salmon. Trout heals 7 HP and salmon heals 9. Collect a full inventory of cooked salmon. Alternatively, you could buy food from the Grand Exchange. Once you have your food, head up north to Edgeville. Now that we have everything we need, I'm just going to cover off a few tips before we start. If you haven't already, configure your settings so you can left click on player attack. In the settings window, click the joystick and then select left click where available under the player attack options. This will make it quicker to attack players in between eating and drinking strength potions. This map shows the area you want to be while you're PKing. Once you cross the wilderness ditch, the first two tiles you're still safe. Once you cross three tiles north of the wilderness ditch, you'll see skull and crossbones appear in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. The level indicates the difference between your combat level and the level of the other players that you're able to attack, or are able to attack you. If you head too far east, you'll notice two cross swords in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. This means it's a multi-combat area, so more than one person can attack you at the same time. When you go PKing, you want to make sure you're logged into either World 8 or World 16, as these are the free to play wilderness worlds. This is where you want to be PKing. When training your peer account, you want to use a combat level calculator. This will show you how many attack, strength, hit points, defense, range, magic, and or prayer levels you can gain before moving up to the next combat level. The goal is to have as strong of an account as possible while maintaining as low of a combat level as you can. Another handy feature is you can type in the username of somebody else that you're considering attacking and it'll pull up all their stats so you know what you're up against. Combat level calculators are incredibly helpful. This will give you a competitive edge against your opponents. There's a link for this in the description below. Another helpful tool is a max hit calculator. This helps you determine your maximum possible hit given your level and equipment. This works whether you're melee, ranged, or magic. It can also be used to calculate the maximum possible hit of your opponent. You can fill in your strength level, your attack style, which you can find by going here. Don't use accurate, controlled, or defensive. The aggressive attack style will let you hit a higher max hit. Next, select your prayer bonus and any other bonuses that you might have. To find the potion that you're using, the potion will give you a strength bonus of three levels plus 10% of your current strength level. With a low level free to play account, you can leave both of these to none. Also fill in your strength bonus, which you can find by going here. So you can see my strength bonus right now is 19. You can also find your range strength bonus there too. Your melee strength bonus is based on the equipment that you're wearing. So you can see when I remove my amulet of strength, my strength bonus drops by 10 points. So if I was level 40 strength using the aggressive attack style, using a strength potion and had equipment that gave me a 19 point strength bonus, my maximum hit would be eight. If I wanted to check the max potential hit of another player, I could just enter the username here and automatically retrieve the strength level. This is useful when trying to determine what the max potential hit of your opponent is. Drinking a beer brings up your strength level by 4%, but decreases your attack by 7%.
Drinking a strength potion brings up your strength level by three plus 10% of your original level. Once you drink one strength potion, drinking multiple strength potions after that won't increase your level anymore. Similar with beer, once you've drank your initial beer, any additional beers after that will not bring your strength level any higher. However, if you drink a strength potion and a beer, you'll gain three strength levels plus 14% of your original level. You will lose 7% of your attack, but since we have a low level attack, it doesn't really matter anyways. Now we're ready to head off in the wilderness and try some PKing. If you found this helpful, it'd mean a lot to me if you'd like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any ideas for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. 